as it is the season, Idioms with Easeway presents The Clapback. There is an art form to the clapback. There are steps that you need to make sure that you do to ensure that your clapback is not only heard, but that it is also supported by your community and maybe even people who don't exist within your community. Much like the beginning of any paper, you need to feel passionate about what you're clapping back about. Someone needs to have said something or does something that inspires you to call them out on their bullshit, if you will, or their flawed ideology. You need something that excites you to create within yourself the metaphorical clapback. You need energy pushing you forward. You need something that empowers you and forces you to respond to what is going on for the greater good of course clapping back is quite literally like slapping someone however instead of actually having hand to face contact you have hand to hand contact but because your metaphorical clap back was so powerful, the person with whom you are responding to knows that they've done something wrong and that you're about to rectify their understanding of the situation. So there are three key steps in initiating a proper clap back. Step one, you must notice the flaw in the ideology that has been presented to you. Much like a paper that is not okay, much like a thought that is incorrect, you must read the thesis statement and find the flaws that are within it. Are you guys still following me? Step two, you must prove that the thesis statement that your opponent has offered is riddled with falsities and falsified information. It's filled with flaws, AKA a bunch of bullshit. And then step three, because you have pointed out the holes within their thinking, you can therefore fill their holes with the actual knowledge and the correctness with which you know. You have to have proof that what they're saying is incorrect. And a part of step three, which makes the clapback even more powerful, is that if you have multiple sources of information with which you can show as proof, you have completed the clapback process. But it's not so much your pro to their con, but that you are beating out their darkness with your light, as in the case with Justice Scalia and uh, oh girl whose name shall not be mentioned. I really applaud my community for coming with the clapback. It's quite effective. You can use it in papers. You can use it with opponents. You can use it with debate. I would, however, say, while tis the season to come with the clapback, you must use them sparingly. It is a time when you're around family and friends. If you're concerned that you might lose someone, I would hold back your clapbacks to maybe one or two instances uh, during the next few days. Happy holidays. Now, some of you, while I do support it, are a bit extra with the clapback. While it is quite hilarious, you're better than that. Unless you're not, then I say shade the fuck away. Shay, 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 sh